My name is Dr. James Donovan, and if your vision has been getting cloudy, blurry, or just not what it used to be, you may have been told you have a cataract, a clouding of the lens of the eye, which looks like this. In this video, you're going to learn about what cataracts are and why surgery is needed, how to prepare for the operation, what happens during the surgery, what recovery looks like, and the potential risks or complications. As ever, each section of this video is timestamped and split into chapters to help you navigate your way around. So first of all, what are cataracts and why is surgery done? A cataract is when the lens inside your eye becomes cloudy. This can happen as part of the natural aging process, what we call age-related cataracts, but children can get them too, though it's much less common. When the eye becomes cloudy, it starts to block or scatter light, making your vision blurry and dim. In fact, someone who has cataracts can have a vision that looks like this. Now, over time, this can really impact daily life. Things like reading, driving, and even recognizing faces. Things that you may take for granted. Now, surgery is the only way to treat cataracts. It involves removing the cloudy lens and replacing it with a clear artificial one. In children, surgery is usually done as early as possible to support healthy vision development. In adults, it's typically recommended when cataracts start affecting your everyday life. Now let's talk about preparing for cataract surgery. And just to flag, this is a very common procedure. Now before your operation, you'll have an appointment with a specialist to examine and measure your eye. If you wear contact lenses, you might be asked to stop wearing them for a few days before the test because they can affect the measurements. Now the procedure is done under local anaesthetic, meaning that you'll be awake, but the eye will be numb. This means that you don't need to fast before the operation and you can eat and drink as normal unless you're told otherwise. So what happens during the operation? Well, you'll be taken to the operating theatre, typically in a hospital. You'll lie down and your eye will be numbed using anaesthetic drops, an injection or sometimes both. You'll be awake, but you won't feel pain. Now the team will put eye drops to widen your pupil and clean the area around your eye. Your face will be covered with a sterile sheet with just the eye exposed. Now the surgeon will make a tiny incision in the clear part at the front of your eye and then make a small cut into the lens capsule. They might use ultrasound to gently break up the cloudy lens. Now once it's broken down, the pieces are removed using suction. They'll then insert a clear plastic artificial lens into the same space, the lens capsule. This holds it in place. Now the surgery itself usually takes just about 20 to 45 minutes and in most cases no stitches are needed. The small incision will typically heal on its own. So what happens after the procedure? Well once it's done your eye may be covered with a dressing to keep it clean. You'll be monitored for a short while and then you can usually go home the same day. Now it's important to make sure someone else is there to drive you home because you won't be able to drive yourself. You'll be given eye drops to use over the next few weeks to help prevent infection and reduce inflammation. Now, most people use these for about four weeks, but follow the individual instructions that have been given to you by your care team. Now, you may need to wear an eye shield at night for a little while to protect the eye while it heals. So now let's talk about recovery from cataract surgery. For most people, vision actually improves within a few days, though it may be blurry at first due to pupil widening drops that you've been given. Now, it's normal to feel some discomfort, such as mild pain or grittiness for a few days. You can take painkillers like paracetamol or ibuprofen if you need to. Now, you might feel more tired than usual. That's okay. Rest is needed and gradually return to your normal routine. Now, here are a few things to keep in mind whilst you're healing. Now, it's important to follow the instructions on how to care for the dressing. Use the eye drops exactly as prescribed. You can wear sunglasses if the light seems too bright. You should wear an eye shield or glasses outdoors, especially if it's windy. Now, it's really important not to rub your eye, get water in your eye or go swimming. Don't drive until your vision is back to normal. And again, your individual care team should give you advice on when it's safe to drive. Don't wear eye makeup or do heavy lifting and avoid contact sports or strenuous activity. Again, for any questions that you have around these activities, please speak with your individual care team. Now, you'll likely still need glasses for reading or distance vision after the surgery, but your prescription might change. So wait for your follow-up appointment before getting new glasses or a new prescription. And if you're unsure about this, please speak to your local team. 
Now, what are the complications and possible risks? Well, cataract surgery is one of the most commonly performed operations and is generally very safe. But as with any surgery, there are some potential risks. These include blurred or cloudy vision, problems with the position of the new lens, infection, inflammation, or bleeding in the eye, and rarely a detached retina. Now, one condition called posterior capsule opacification, or PCO, can occur months or years later. It's not a recurrence of the cataract, but a clouding of the lens capsule, and it can usually be treated quickly with a simple laser procedure. So when should you seek help after a cataract operation? Well, it's important to speak to an optician or GP if your vision becomes blurry again, your eye turns red or feels painful, you see flashing lights, floaters, or shadows, you notice new blind spots, or a sudden drop in vision. Now, these could be signs of a complication, like a detached retina, and should be assessed urgently. If you found this helpful, please consider sharing the video, and if you've got any questions, feedback, or want to share your own experiences to help others who might be undergoing this procedure, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.